Alright folks, today I am playing the game known as PID. I did not even know of this game's existence up until two days ago when a buddy of mine uh, gave me his <clears throat> his code to redeem it. Uh, he already had a copy of it and he thought that it would be right up my alley. And from looking it up, it looks like it pretty much is. Um, I really like platforming and uh, lush environments. It kind of reminds me of a 2D uh, Brothers Tale of Two Sons, uh, at least with the art style. But I have seen that there's some mixed reviews on it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go in with my expectations pretty pretty low. I think that can only help me. All right, I am going into this blind. By the way, I've never played this. I know very little about it. And, uh, let's get this show on the road, I guess. Earth. School. Bus. Kids. Okay. of some sort of transit system in the future where where your kid takes the school bus to another planet? I don't know. Did his parents or just random people just leave him behind? I don't, I don't know. I like how this is taking a simplistic form of storytelling yet it's confusing as hell. I guess it'll explain. Clearly I'm on a planet that isn't Earth. That much is known. I'm now in control. Hopping and running. This actually doesn't look much like Brothers. I mean, some of the textures look similar, but the art style isn't all that. Okay, an old man with a box head. Whistleton. Oh, I guess he wasn't with his parents. I guess those are strangers. Good. <laughs> Wait, it's a platformer. I should probably get to get to the action. Alright, this creepy little doll with evil eyes is giving me some advice. Alright, I guess box head is a little delusional. Spooky. Like a traffic vortex. The Bermuda Triangle of traffic. So I guess this game is my adventure trying to get home, walking to the city. With this doll as my sidekick? <laughs> Alright, my name is Kurt. Interesting. I, I guess the doll's not coming with me, but we now know my name is Kurt, which kind of devalues all of this. It doesn't really fit, but whatever. Onwards and upwards. Oh, shit! Welp. Not off to a good start, Cody. I really like the mood of this so far, the loungy music and the, just the feel of it. I've heard, or I've read, that it gets pretty difficult, we'll see. I put it on normal setting. Um, also, I don't, if I do like a complete walkthrough of this, like if I'm really digging it, 
by the end of this video. I don't know how I'm gonna break the uh, segments up because I don't really know if this, uh, how long the levels are in this, if it's broken down by worlds or just checkpoints. Probably keep the videos to a maximum of 30 minutes. Um, can I talk to this guy? Oh, I most certainly am. It's disturbing. Sounds like she's coughing up a... I feel like that's a, a steady thing now in these indie platformers. Uh, characters talking by just making incoherent gurgling sounds and then showing text on the screen. Alright, I got some sort of scroll. Oh, it's an old bus ticket. Alrighty then. Whoa, it's an enemy. That enemy is an idiot. Can I hop on it? Oh, no I cannot. This is not Mario. Surely there's gonna be some other actions. I learned some other moves that I pick up along the way. I gotta have something in my skill set other than a jump. Not that that couldn't, you know, produce a fun game, but I just don't see that happening. Although I did read, I did read that this is a repetitive game. You know, I'm giving it a chance though, I really like the art style and I love platformers. Whoa. I, I like it though, it's really dreamy so far. It's like a, like a bedtime story. I'm gonna play right before you go to bed. Dreams about. It's like verging on nightmarish, but it's also pleasant. Okay, so it's saving. Uh, I'm guess I'm just gonna go ahead and guess that's how this game is gonna work. I don't think it's gonna be like broken up by worlds or anything like a Nintendo platformer. Um. Okay. So what I'm gonna do. What a puzzle. So far, not very threatening. Not much threat. Oh, I spoke too soon. Jesus. Are you trying to give me a heart attack? Castle Cave. Um, okay, wake up! Come on! Throw the rubble off! I wonder if it's like... Because in platforms like Danky Kang, I always go back and look at little hidden alcoves and crevices. It doesn't look as though there's going to be that many collectibles that are out of reach in this. I think it's mostly just straightforward. See, I love that. I love little... D this is so like Brothers. It really is. And if you haven't played A Tale of Two Sons, then you're missing out. It's basically like a... I don't know, like almost a cel-shaded version of that. A 2D version. The gameplay is going to be different. Like, I, I think the gameplay in Brothers is... This is scary. Okay, Pandora's box is what I just opened. You have just received the beam. Oh. Oh, nice. Kind of a little bit of mess action. 
Not that I've ever played Earthbound, but, you know, I've witnessed his abilities in Smash. Kinda reminds me of that. I want all these stars, guys. Oh, I know what I should do. Hope I don't run out of these things. Ah, I'm fucked. Oh well. <laughs> I don't need those two stars. Fuck. Wait. Oh, there's shit up there, I think. I fucked up. I fucked up. Why does it throw it lopsided when I want to go up? Thank you. I have a feeling that's gonna be a that mechanic is gonna be a thorn in my side. If that's like a prevalent thing. Okay. Ah. I mean, I'm liking it so far, it's, you know, I don't think it's gonna blow my mind or anything, but, uh, the negative reviews certainly didn't seem warranted. Alright. There we go. Then again, you know, this is the start, but apparently the, uh, the boss fights are a headache. But I, I like a difficult boss fight. I mean, if it's too difficult to where I'm wanting to just fucking pull my hair out and murder somebody, then that's one thing, but... Narrowly avoided... Narrowly, I should say, not narrowly, avoided those red spikes. Which are strategically placed throughout the world for some reason. Okay, I, can, I can do this. I'm not missing out on this. Series. Um, I don't... How do I get to those, though? Eh, screw it. I'm not looking to 100% this. That's a, that's the thing you gotta realize with most of my walkthroughs, if I'm gonna keep uploading consistent, consistently, um, is that I'm not really one to 100% things. I do every now and then, but I do it gradually over the course of... of, like, a year sometimes. I, I don't... I don't really 100% games, and when I do, it's not something I do with urgency. Nah, it's not. I'm digging this guy's beard. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Nah, I don't. You don't say. Wow. Ha! Knew it. There, there are Donkey Kong Country-esque hidden alcoves. Um, what lies ahead? Uh, I'm feeling there might be something of worth down there, otherwise I don't know why there would be. Oh, shit! So, do you die when you run out of stars? Okay, this is gonna take some finesse. Ah, oh, there we go. Never mind, it was not as complicated as I thought it might be. I was just being a clown. I'm guessing you get game over when you run out of stars. I don't. I don't know. Other, otherwise, it just seems like there's really no consequence to die. You just respawn like right away where you were at. Whoa! Well, I'm still fucked. I mean, I saved myself briefly, but goodbye.
a goodbye. They're in your way, I understand, but those were not posing any sort of issue. considering I just said I was getting the hang of it. Alright, I'm gonna have to be a little more, uh, <laughs> selective with my beams and... Oh, shit. Shit. Can I save myself? Oh my good lord. No. No! 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 Alright, <laughs> I can definitely see this game uh, becoming too hard. See, I already did this with ease, but once you get in a funk, it's hard to get out. With platformers, it's... Okay. Thank you. Even gonna fuck with those stars after just dying a million times. But I will fuck with those. Whoa. Yeah, I don't even. Yeah, I don't even need them. I'm accustomed to using those, I forgot I could just jump over some gaps. Right, you cancel those beams. And goodbye. Oh, hi! Power. Power. Show. Yeah, well, you got one, so tough titty. I'm sure not. I'm studying the recent astronomical abnormalities occurring in our system. It appears that stars in the sky are mm, disappearing. Over the past couple of years, the star maps are being completely altered. I'm trying to find a logical explanation for this phenomenon. Oh, well, that's dynamite. I really don't care. Okay, stars, I guess, are not, uh, <laughs> life in this game. I guess it's gonna be a collectathon of stars that I have to, um, return to this balding motherfucker. Nothing disgusting me. That is <gasps> Jesus, I'm yawning and I woke up about 45 minutes ago. That's not good. Par for the course. I guess this will unlock a new ability or just give me uh... <laughs> That's it? Alright, I can't store multiple items evidently. Ah, there's a hatch. Little attic thing. Let's do it to it. Oh, hi. 
This guy is sexy. Uh, do I have to stay hidden? I know they have some beans. Ah, nice. Ah! Let's get the heck away! Okay, bye bye. There was my one best kid, evidently. Ha! Oh dear lord. Okay. That's how you get out of a jam, folks. Well, shit. I'm gonna need these beams to last just a little longer. Okay, those... This is... Ooh. Okay, I need to cancel the beam that I used to get up here because it's throwing me off once I get up there. Let it ride. There we go. <laughs> okay. Enemy? Yep. Thought it might be a collector. Enemy? No. Friendly man. If you have a beard, you're friendly, evidently. Except, in my case, IRL. I'm a dick. Wouldn't want to, um... Perish these floors with my dirty red boots. Oh. You cannot use the beam on blue blocks. I gotta give a shit. This is gonna be difficult. I do, I know what I have to do there. No, no, damn it. Somehow pick him up 
and get him all the way. Oh, nice. This might be it, folks. This might be where I have to end the playthrough if I can't get past it. Alright, so it is. I hate you, Pid. I keep wanting to call him Pip. I gotta say, Pid is a horrible name. For a video game. not be fun to watch, and it's certainly not fun to play. Not the whole game, but this particular hurdle. Oh. Uh, I really don't have the gumption to get through this. God! <laughs> Here's the... Oh my god. Here's the deal. I'm confused as to what to do because this little guy isn't one that is firing missiles. So, even if I get him to those bricks, how the hell do I break it? it and looking it up. I have no shame. Alright. Oh, we're back. Turns out I was overthinking it, folks. Um, apparently there's this little hidden area up here where a woman with pigtails, I say woman, it's like 
more like a cardboard robot thing. Uh, apparently gives you some bombs. Uh, I was overthinking it. I thought I had to use that little enemy to chuck at the uh, bricks. My bad. I suppose I would have figured this out eventually and saw that I could have went up this little uh, pathway, but that's really uh, not something you can afford when you're doing a playthrough. I already wasted about five minutes of my time and yours uh, if you made it this far. So I figured I'd just look it up. And now I can proceed. equip the damn bomb. I must admit, now I don't really know what to do here. Last long enough? There we go. No! 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 Yes. Yes. Come on, jump, idiot. My God! There we go. I need to be ending this soon. There's gotta be a boss or a mini boss or something. That'd be a good stopping point. Why did that not carry me all the way? I, I see why reviewers call this game frustrating. I see now. I've seen the light, so to speak. No! Oh my god!
don't even know if you're supposed to rest atop these things. This is what I'm doing now. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. So there is consequence to die. Canceling these beams once I'm done with them. I think that's my issue. Magnificent, aren't I? Oh. oh my! I don't know if I'm gonna be doing a part two. Honestly, like... There's, there comes a time in a platformer where you have to ask yourself, is this fun? And if it ceases to be fun out of being frustrating, then the answer is no, that you do not want to continue. this was going to be a straightforward jump and land platform. Whoa! Woo! Oh, thank God. Alright, I'm getting past one little... one more little uh, area here. so much I can handle, only so much stress. Okay, bye-bye. See, now that is satisfying. And apparently enemies drop accessories. That's very nice. Thing. Oh, okay. Good thing I had that vest. Yes, please. Yas. Yas. Bombs away. Let me see if I have another vest. Um, I don't even... Now I don't remember what I used to equip. Shit. Something really weird, like... Not uh, correlate really. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, so it is. Oh, 
Gas. God, I'm the mayor of Clown Town sometimes. My apologies. Boss time. Right? Whoa, shite. Jesus. Lord, have mercy. See, now this is just cool. Sayonara. That was my last section, and I meant it. Hope you had, uh, uh, uh had, um, uh, so, uh, got, um, uh, uh just a, a little smidge, smidgen of enjoyment out of this. And I don't know if I'm gonna be playing this frustrating game again. Uh, at least not recording it, because I'm not very good at it, apparently. And I might just have a temper tantrum. And I don't really want that to go down in history in the annals of time. Thank you for watching.